He have not dealt so with any nation. Psalms, Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19, the, NL, <clears throat> the NLT translation. He has revealed his words to Jacob and his decrees and regulations to Israel. Verse 40, 147, chap, chapter 147, verse 20. He has not dealt so with any nation. He have not, he has, he has not done this for any other nation. For they, they do not know his regulations. Praise ye, Yahweh, Yahweh, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Shemel, Shab, Shemel, Hamadash, the Wadi, Yahweh, Shemel, Shab, for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom all to the Akim, pushing the word and sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which the market of this. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the terrorists are loaded and the whole full elect into the chambers. Simultaneously, the terrorists are loaded, shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. He has not dealt so with any nation. He has not done this for any other nation. This um time is um it's a lot here. Uh, time is oh no, it's a lot here. Time is 4.30 a.m. in the morning, 11, November 22nd, 2022, the year to turn up. And um, it's turning up quite well. Got one more month to see how this thing will level up. The Wadi Abba Shibyan Shah for his statues, his judgments, which he have not done. So he have not. Psalm for the 147, verse 20. Let's start back at, um... Yeah, I just read this whole chapter, just going through it. Just to get down here to get more um, insight on what he have done for us. And the name of this chapter is... Um... The name of this chapter of Psalm for the 147 is Praise... Praise for Jerusalem Restoration. I like this word. I love this word. All right, let's, let's go. This word is powerful. And prosperity. Let's see if I said this right because I, I see this lots of times in different titles. It's a lot here. Almost actually. I like this word. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. Restoration. Restoration, the act of returning something to a former owner, place, or condition. Oh, man. So, restoration. The action of returning something to a former owner place or condition so a former owner we, we go we're the former owners we, we're gonna the earth is going to be restored back restoration back to us we're the former owners the place is going to be returned back to us 
we we'll put air here so the all all condition and condition our great the condition we was in when we was superheroes walking on air you know this is what um what had the birds go um our first estate um So lock here. I'm gonna try something fast. One second. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Um, yeah, this verse just jumped in my head, so I wanted to get it. Um, because um I said um restoration. Very powerful word we just read. So we're gonna be restored back to our first estate, which as is an angelic force. So we are not in our first estate, which is being an, an angelic force for Yahweh Yahweh Shah. See, we about we be in recovery. Very powerful. I just read something in Psalms too. I wanna to read it. Just just jumping around, just just having a holy conversation. So so like, yeah. Uh, it says, um we can start right here. Very powerful verse, see? Uh, just because, just the word, because this word is, it, it's, it's, um, um, in this verse right here, it's, um, symbolic to restoration, remembrance, uh, we're gonna remember, we, we are coming back to the remember of our first estate, which is being an angelic force of angels, right? It says, Jude chapter 1 verse 5 and I will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this see how that the Lord Yahweh Shah having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroying them that believe not so the point was remembering so he, he's going he's gonna to destroy the ones that, that believe not again but But we are be we are about to this is this is the water y'all should be on shot for this verse right here because this just jumped in my mind when I was reading it. And this is how you know if the Lord when the Lord is sucking with you. Because you could the verse could jump in your head because it's not you. And prove lot and tons of verses prove that it's not you that these verses jump in your head. Because say that for example, um a brother was reading a, a verse and then the spirit is like the wind. It flows all over the place, and it jumps on the ones he wants to bring it out for. Now, the ones that he needs to bring it out, the ones that's going to bring it out for him, right? So, the why y'all must not shot for this one? Because you know, and that's another. You know, we got prime examples that prove that. Like for example, uh, Apostle Ramla, um, like when I watch his videos, and and he he think of a verse, but then he it, it like wind the way out of his mind, but he praise the Lord. Um, I'm Uncle Sha, give me the verse back, and the Lord brings the verse back to him. And then he says, Why do you have my So So those are key, key things that, that happens, you know? So we are brought back in remembrance, though we once knew this. Right? How that, how that, Yahweh Shah having saved. The people out of the land of Egypt, and he done this for us. Egypt, out of the, out of the, um, um, March of Zion, you know. Afterward, destroying them that believe not. Yeah, he did. So, just the point right here. And verse 6, right? Jude chapter 1, verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, see, the estate. But left their own inhabitation, he has reserved in an everlasting chain. And that's we we are in this these bodies are ever this is the this is the second estate. <laughs> these bodies, man. Cause I told you. Um starting without King Yahweh Shah. Alright. He went up, he sacrificed everything he had in this world, and he got that first estate back. He came down as put as a mini bedroom. He's one of the mini bedrooms. You know? And we are um we're about to encounter the same I brought this out one of these men. 
You know, we want to encounter the same um, restoration that our um, that Yah Yah Shah has um, um, encountered, and he's ultimate one right now, which makes logical sense because stories is coming out right. Like for example, the um, the Black Jesus, right? Oh, the Black Jesus, right? Oh, he he was um. He he warned the Rothschilds because it makes logical sense, man. Like all this is happening, right? They keep trying to cover up the cover up, the more cover up, the more they cover up, the more the truth grows. The more Yah Bashimel Shah grows, man. And this is tonight. This this is really powerful stuff, man. Really really powerful stuff, bro. Like to be able to see these things, man. To see these things unfold right before your eyes, that means you're paying attention to the right stuff. Some people are paying attention to sports. Oh, I throw a football. Oh, shoot the ball in the hoop. Distraction. Distraction. Oh, um, which opened the floodgates of the truth, which helped, which helped um, um, wash away a lot of lies. You know, Kanye Yeezy and Keon Irving and many others. Um, it ha it, it did help intensify the um the truth. Cause you I think recently we had the um I U C C K not I U C K um Nate and his gang um over there at Barkley Center. Very spiritual too, cause I remember um living out there in Brooklyn for um probably like maybe six, seven months roughly. The Lord, even in that situation, I'm just so like I'm about to encounter something else. The Lord had me think, he had me thinking, cause it's like uh, getting ready to move. <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna be like that anyway. That's how the Lord gonna deal with us. It's time to move now. And going, he gonna, he gonna put the spirit on you to start, start packing your shit. Cause sometimes, and, hey, I'm just saying, have you doing this, doing this, maneuver this way, this way, going this way, go this way. Just the Lord's gonna guide your steps. Okay, and he's gonna he's gonna um, restore our first estate. Jude chapter. Let me see something real fast to lock in. Now this is gonna be very powerful. This is very powerful stuff. Look, I'm gonna read this in, in um in the NLT. This is Jude chapter one verse six in the NLT translation. We'll come back. We'll bounce back and forth just to use certain words. Put just to um intertwine them. You know. And remind you, this is how it starts. So like, I, I never read this one before, so I just want to see something real fast. Uh, and I remind you of the angels who did not stay within their the limits of authority. God gave them, but God gave them, but left the place where they belong, and we belong with Him. Now we it's not no fallen angels that came down and you no, know, it's just we was putting in these bodies, man. God has kept them security sec securely chained in prison of darkness, waiting for the great day of judgment. See, there's a judge everybody this is why it's mad powerful that everybody's on the earth right now. Judgment is about to be played out. And those that die, they're gonna go they're gonna come back in the in, in this, you know, um, you know, the righteous gonna go up in the chariots, and the other ones gonna get hit with missiles. So we're gonna, gonna get resurrected, they're gonna get hit with missiles. A lot of things gonna happen simultaneously when all this, all this hell is breaking loose. It's gonna be a very powerful time, man. Man, it's gonna be a powerful time. Let's think about it. Wow, just a lot of things going through my head. And a great day of judgment. See, this is done, this is the days of the. <gasps> the it's gonna be um uh a time of judgment. Ecclesiastes I forgot what chapter that because the earth is a place of judgment. Okay? This is where we go where everybody experience what they're gonna receive. Oh, I got another verse that just jumped in my head. Okay, so let me get this real fast. Very powerful verse too. 
very, very powerful verse. You can't go around this verse. You could try, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to make it my way, my way or the highway. I want to find this verse. Which is a very powerful. You can't go around this verse either, suckers. On Joshua, we ain't going, you ain't getting out of this thing. Just want to find this verse. Very powerful verse. Very, this is just, this, you can't, this is, man, this is, just thinking, because I always read this verse to myself. I always think about this verse, because I'm like, wow, man. There's nobody, everybody's going to get a, a, a judgment. Either you're going to be saved or you're going to be destroyed. That's the two judgments. It's two sides. It's two, it's love me or hate me. It's no in between. <laughs> so I, I know exactly what's that. You know, it takes great men to show you even, this is where you, you admire great men because you'd be like, wow. They just men like us, and they make and and, and they they lose their mind, and, you know, lose thoughts. It's not like oh, they got we they all we are, great men is in the same situation as you are. They are in the flesh. This is what makes them um, great men because they're going through the same situation you're going through, and they're making themselves examples. That's another verse. I want to see if I can find that one. So it's a lot. I don't know. Um, the spirit has guided me to to find the. Um, I just had this verse. All right, Salah. Yeah, just give me a second. Because right. I, I, you know, learning this, you know, it's hard. You know, you've got it's hard. My brain, you know, you lose thoughts. It's right here. That's why you gotta highlight stuff. Cause I know for me, I gotta highlight it. Cause I can't remember. You know. Coming out of this stupid world in the spirit, right? You you did things in the world you should never been doing, and they fucked you up. Right? I know for me, I just can't remember where it was at. I guess I know I can. If I ain't highlight it, I won't be able to find it. So I can, or remember. But through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, he just made me think of this. First. Here we go, Salakia, which I got both of the verses, which clarifies a whole sit, the whole, the whole situation of, of, of judgment. Right, it says um Second Corinthians chapter, chapter six, no chapter five verse six. All right, I'm gonna read all this. So, yeah, I'm gonna read all this. Verse seven. For we walk by faith and not by sight. And we are confident, I say, and willing and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with Yahweh our child. Yeah, we can we can do it that way. Oh that we are in the spirit but what but we supposed to be here. Supposed to be here doing this, labor of love. All right, this is this is what we're supposed to be doing. Whether Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent we may be accepted of him. So both sides, you want to even if you're dead right now, you want to be accepted of Yahweh Shmel Shah. But we rather labor. The labor is the part that you this is how you're gonna obtain your crown. By laboring. Going hard for the king. Wherefore we labor, where wherefore we Labor that whether present or absent, we may be acceptable, accepted of him. So this is what we want to do. We want to be accepted of him, so we can get, so we can get the righteous judgment. Okay. See, he has not dealt so with any other nation. So he has shown us his his um whatever what I read um so I read that thing my small state. I so we read that we read that the restoration. We about to be restored. Uh, the power is about to be restored. The knowing his judgments, all right. 
he hath not dealt so with any nation. Right? This is Psalm chapter 147, verse, verse 20. He hath not. This is the part that Esau and the gang, that they know that the Lord is not, is not dealing with them. But, he know, but they know back in their mind that the Lord gave them something, which is the earth. All these things, it all com it all culminates to each other. It all like how how did we get this? Because we they gave it to us because 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 of this people didn't do right. And what proves that? Um what's that verse? He accuseth his brother. Oh well, come on, Lord. Look, they're eating pork, they're eating shrimp. 